Hello guys and welcome to a new video and for today's video I got a little sidekick and someone who helps me. This guy here. I'm super skeptical when it comes to uh, feeding machines and um, all the feeding machines I've seen so far they are super expensive. Yeah they can feed you but I think usually they are not worth the money you're paying. Now I've seen that there are machines for just around 100 bucks and I think this is also an amount of money that makes it maybe interesting to get one of those if they are also um, yeah, useful and helpful to train some technical skills and maybe to support you when you are alone on court or when you have an uneven number. So I really wanted to try out if these machines are worth the money and um, in this video I want to give you a quick review on the pros and the cons of these low budget feeding machines. So inside the box you can find a feeding machine with three feet and a tube for the shuttles that you just put on top as well as a power cable with an adapter. In addition to that you can also find six plastic shuttles and also my personal highlight a blue really professional racket. But a little warning here with the racket please be careful when you want to remove the plastic from the grip do not smell at the grip because that will probably reduce your life expectancy. So as you can imagine the setup of the machine is very easy and it just takes a few seconds. You put in the three feet, put in the tube on top and you're good to go. I only tried the machine for a few weeks so I don't really know how durable the material is but my first impression is quite good. It's all of plastic but the quality is okay, it's stable and it seems like totally okay for the price. In general the machine is very easy to use. Beside the quick setup there's an on-off switch on the back. I got a little problem with the power cable or better said the adapter that came with it so it was not suitable for my plugs here. I don't know if there's maybe different versions of it but in the end I also had to use it with batteries. Uh, important thing here the, no the batteries are not included in the package so I also had to spend a few extra euros to get the batteries but then you can use it anywhere you want and you do not need to use the power cable at all. The shooting angle can be adjusted between two options but to be honest there's not a real big difference in these two options. Um, you have to use something to put under the feet to adjust it a little bit um, if you want to change the angle of the shooting machine. The tube has a capacity of around 16 shuttles and the machine shoots one shot every four seconds. The shot always comes with the same power, a little bit more about the precision later, but here you can see the length of the shot. So when you put the machine under the net or when I put the machine under the net, the shots all land at the back line. If you want to shoot over the net, you have to use something where you can put the machine on top because you cannot adjust the three feet. They are always the same height. I already mentioned it, a big plus definitely is the precision of the machine. Here I use three kinds of shuttles, new ones, used ones and plastic shuttles. And if you use new shuttles, the shuttle almost lands on the same spot every time, but you can also use yeah, really bad shuttles and the variance where it lands is still pretty low. So no matter if you want to use plastic shuttles or feather shuttles, the machine can handle all kinds of shuttles and is still very precise even if the shuttle is quite worn out. So now let's have a look how useful it actually is for the training. So as you can only shoot to the same spot with the machine, you can't do any real multi-feeding in my eyes. Maybe you can do a shot and then do a footwork pattern to a different corner. So it maybe gets also a little bit more intense, but in my eyes, the primary use is technical training. So as you can see here, even if you put the machine under the net, the shuttle still flies high enough to practice rear cord shots. If you want to get a little bit more realistic flight curve, I think it's better to put something under the machine so it shoots over the net, but in my eyes, both things work. Here the precision definitely is a big upside to practice some basic technique. You can work on forehand, but you can also work on backhand shots. And the interval of four seconds in my eyes is very suitable to give you enough time to also add in some footwork patterns if you want to start from the middle maybe and then to move into the corner. Because it is so precise, especially with good shuttles, you could also use it for front court shots. Then you have to set it up here at the rear court and yeah, find the distance so it shoots exactly behind the net. It works, but it felt a little bit strange. Also, the interval here is a little bit long with four seconds in my eyes and the flight curve of the shuttle is not that realistic. So it is an option also to work on front court technique, but there usually in the training I would prefer someone feeding me or throwing shuttles. So last but not least, let's also have a look at the mid-court and if you can practice your defensive skills with the machine.
So this unfortunately is definitely one of the cons. The machine only works when it can shoot upwards. So you cannot really simulate a smash or a flat drive and that would be really useful in the midcourt or for double players. But as you could see in the video, yeah, the shuttle just falls out if you want to shoot a downwards trajectory. So after a few weeks of testing, my conclusion is that the machine is definitely worth the money and I think it's a very cool tool for the technical training. It is very easy to use, you have a quick setup, you have a good shooting precision with different kinds of shuttles and you also have a reasonable time interval in between and a good uh, flight curve that will help you to practice especially rear cord and overhead shots but also front cord shots if you want. There's also one area that I haven't talked about yet and where the machine in my eyes can be very useful and this is kids training. Especially for very small kids it is very tricky to teach them overhead shots because there's usually no one to feed them except the coach and most of the times the groups are a lot bigger and with that machine you can just set them up, put them on one spot and then they can try to hit overhead shots. The machine is super precise so they have very easy circumstances and a lot of coaches that also use the machine reported me already that the kids have a lot of fun working with the machine. The biggest downside in my eyes are the missing adjusting possibilities so it would be nice if the machine could shoot a little longer and if you could also adjust a few more angles maybe let it shoot downwards or also um, set it higher so adjustable feet would be really helpful in many situations. Besides that the power supply can be a little bit tricky as I mentioned and as there are no batteries included I think you should also be aware of spending a few extra euros on those batteries if you do not have the possibility to use the power cable all the time on court. As a coach there's also one thing I have to mention. With these feeding machines the problem is that your players will not learn to feed themselves and I think this is a crucial and very important skill that they have to master. So use it for the training but also keep in mind to get your players into a situation where they also learn feeding themselves. Otherwise I can assure you you will get problems in the training. You will not always have the possibility to have a feeding machine with you. So keep that in mind, but all in all, I'm very happy with the machine and I do not regret buying it. I think it's a great tool that can support you in the training. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. In the end, two more things, how you can support me on one hand. If you would like to buy one of these machines, I listed a few different options in the description below. And if you buy with one of these links, you do not pay extra, but I get a small commission. So you would support me and my channel and I would be really grateful if you do that. And I also got a second request, how you can help me. Um, I try to make the machine a little bit more friendly, but I still do not have a name. So please help me with a good name for the machine. Also write it down in the comments below. And then I hope I can welcome you in the next video. Goodbye for now. See you next time.